5M is probably the most popular mod for role players, and at Zap Hosting, you can easily set up your server and live your vision as an admin. And the setup is super easy. Today I present you the FAQ and give you the corresponding answers directly in this video. So you should be able to start right off at the end of this video. So let's begin with the basics. How do I connect via FTP to edit files? To connect with FTP, you have to do the following things. First, select the FTP browser. For this, click on FTP browser on the left beneath the menu item tool. Second, download an FTP program. We recommend FileZilla or WinSCP. Third, enter the data in your desired FTP client. You can also find the login data for your FTP account on the FTP browser website. Then install all required data into the program window. Click on connect or login to make a connection. Now you are using FTP on your game server and you can edit all files. How do I install resources, plugins on my 5M server? Most resources require a database, essential modes, ES plugins and MySQL async. You can install these requirements with just a few clicks in resources. Additionally set settings, configure database option to yes. Then your server will be linked to your first database which you can find under databases. The best source for resources and scripts is the official forum of 5M. You can find the link below in the description. We also link another page where you can download additional content like scripts, skins and vehicles. Second, after downloading the desired extension, the packed files must be unpacked. Third, connect to your game server via FTP, just like mentioned before. Now navigate to your folder G, your individual number, slash GTA 5M slash server data slash resources and drag the unzipped folder into it. Copy the folder name of the resource or script and open the config. That is called server.cfg, which you can download via FTP under the folder server data or under the configs tab in your web interface. Now go into an empty line and write the following start and the folder name. Now simply restart your 5M server and your resource should be able to load. You can test whether your resource was loaded correctly and without errors in the database under Open Console. You should find a line that says Find new resource and then the resource name. Also make sure that the output does not contain any errors. Certain resources may be broken, so please restart at this point if there are any error codes. Important! Some resources contain SQL files that you need to input into your database. How to do this can be found under Questions and Answers in your web interface. How do I connect to my 5M server via Archon? First, download an Archon program. In your web interface, you can find our recommended program for that. Click on Connect at the top and enter your IP and your server's port. The Archon password can be found in the web interface under Settings. To check if the connection was successful, you can enter the command status. There's a feedback from the server with all player names. But if there's no one on the server, there will be no response. An additional list of Archon commands can be found in your web interface as well. How do I change my server's icon? Connect to your game server via FTP. Navigate to the folder G, your individual number, slash GTA 5M, slash server data and upload your server icon file there. Copy the file name of the icon and open the file server.cfg, which you can also find in the server data folder or via the tab configs in your web interface. Now you should look for the line load server icon zap 96 times 96png in the file server.cfg, there you have to replace the logo's name with the file name of your new logo. As soon as you have restarted your server, you should be able to see the logo in your server list or via direct connection. How do I disable mod menus like the Lamba menu? 
First, open your server.cfg file. You can find it via TFP in the server data folder or via the tab configs in the web interface. Now you should look for the line sv underscore script hook allowed in the server.cfg file. There you can disable script hook by changing the entry 1 to 0. If you want to reactivate script hook, you can simply set the entry back to 1. How do I install replace car mods? Connect to your server via FTP and create a new folder in the resource folder. Give this new folder a special name, but please keep it free from any special characters. Now create a new text data and call it underscore underscore resource dot lua. Now insert this line into the new file. Now you can save the file and close it. We won't need it for now. After that, create a new folder within this folder and call it stream. After that, copy all the .yft and ytd files into the stream folder. Open up your server.cfg file, which you can find in the server data folder as well, or in the tab configs in your web interface. Now add the line start and the name of the first folder into your server.cfg file. Now restart your server and your new car mod should be ready to go. In our web interface you will find many more tips for using Essential Mode and Dunko. And if your question hasn't been answered here, please feel free to contact our specialists in the live chat. They will be happy to help you. And if you have any questions or requests, please feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments below.